when you're building a house, there are several milestones that I get excited about. These are typically events that are happening that are really crucial to the job site or to the build. And the first milestone is when we're pouring that cement foundation. In a typical pour, well, you have this massive concrete foundation and you can actually see where your house is gonna be. It's kind of like X marks the spot. This is the footprint of where your house is gonna be and you can envision where the walls are gonna go up. You can envision the living room, the kitchen. You can picture yourself walking down the hall and looking into the bedrooms. The next milestone is whenever we're putting on the roof. And that's what we're doing today. Welcome back to the job site where we are building a house in Costa Rica. Let me take 20 seconds to tell you about this awesome Costa Rican vacation we are giving away. I am giving away a three day Costa Rican adventure just for watching videos on my channel and learning all about living in Costa Rica. Subscribe now hit that notification bell so you don't miss out and watch to the end and I'll explain how you can qualify to win. That's gonna be an awesome vacation and I hope you win. In order to qualify, hey, simply subscribe, like, comment and share this video with as many people as possible. The more engaged you are with this video, the more you increase your odds of winning this awesome three-day Costa Rican vacation. But let's get back to the job site. Today, our crew is going to be installing this material as our roof. Now, once they get this roof on, it's what contractors call getting it in the dry simply means that it can go ahead and rain. Our job site is pretty much going to be dry once our roof is on and this way if it's raining nothing's going to slow down our progress. Now this is important for you to know because whenever you're talking to a contractor you want to find out hey how long does it normally take to get this type of house in the dry. If he tells you it's going to take two months remember tack on a month or two because in Costa Rica everything takes longer. Remember in the United States, Canada, well we're a well-oiled machine. We've got these big box stores and we're used to working together to get things going. In Costa Rica there's still a lot of unchartered territory so you want to make sure that you allow for more time than normal. You also want to remember that there's typically six months of the dry season and six months of the rainy season. It typically begins raining in May. However, sometimes those rains start early as much as April. So make sure that you plan accordingly so that hopefully when you're building your house in Costa Rica, the goal is to have it in the dry before rainy season begins. This way you don't have anything slowing you down from getting your job done. Nothing to slow you down from getting your house going. So plan accordingly and if you're planning to come to Costa Rica, well now's a good time to remind you. Schedule your free 20 minute phone consultation so that one of our professionals can talk to you and guide you help you with this building process and we can make sure to save you lots of money and a lot of time when it comes to building your home in Costa Rica. A lot of work has been happening on the build site and I'll give you a tour of what the crew has accomplished later. Today we're focused on getting our roof on the house. Welding these beams across the roof rafters does take a little bit of time. But the real issue is not the time, but how dangerous it is to do this type of work so high up in the air. The team cleans and then paints all of the metal with rust proof protection before even putting the metal in its proper place. After the roof beams are welded into place, every spot where it's been welded has to be cleaned and painted again. Now that all of the roof beams are in place, it's time to hoist our roof material to the top. In Costa Rica, it takes a lot of ingenuity, thinking outside the box, and manual labor to get the job done. Now 
now that we have our tools, roof material, and supplies, we can get started. The crew starts by screwing down these roof panels, and this part goes fairly quickly. After getting a few roof panels into place, it's not nearly as dangerous to work up here. But it's starting to rain, and we'll have to wait until tomorrow to finish this job. We started early the next morning, and now our house is finally in the dry. Rainy season is almost over, so the rains won't be much of a problem anymore. However, it will be nice for our crew to continue working in the shade. 